gonna bring you guys one of the best games of the season featuring the Dallas Mavericks against our squad. The Dallas Mavericks has Zion Williamson Whew, overpowered man this man is OP. Zion Jimmy Butler he has a great great team so we gotta really be careful against this team we gotta play right if not this could be a disaster but in the first quarter I didn't know how to guard Zion properly he was getting all these buckets man <laughs> so I was trying to contain him as much as I can but it's harder to be said than done because Zion Williamson is super fast he gets the oop off of a turnover and I'm gonna find Curry off of a screen he gets a wide open three in the corner so this first quarter was a lot of back and forth Zion Williamson is just blowing by all my defenders man is so OP hopefully for season three I could get a slasher like I mentioned in my last video I really want to get someone like that like a Zion like a John Morant a De'Aaron Fox Someone, someone, <laughs> someone, well, I said someone three times so that can slash like a beast because that's gonna be super fun. So, Chris Paul, oh my gosh, I said Chris Paul because I was thinking of season two. I was thinking of my previous season who I drafted. I had, ooh, what a lob to Hassan Whiteside. I had Chris Paul and then now I have Steph Curry as my point guards. They're, they aren't exactly the best slashers, so hopefully, I can get an explosive point guard man for season three. That was going to be super fun. Zion Williamson is just beasting and feasting in this first quarter. We're down by 6 points. Steph Curry gets into the lane. Sexy acrobatic layup. So we're down by 4. Jimmy Butler is going to try to get a bucket to end the first quarter. We played great defense with Josh Richardson. We anticipated it well. And we get the defense to stop to end the first quarter. So I love Josh Richardson, man. He's very underrated. He can shoot. He has a 95 mid-range. He has great defense. A very underrated player. His shot is really smooth as well. His jump shot is really easy. It's much easier than Luka Doncic. That's all I can say. <laughs> but speaking of Luka Doncic, I'm just going to keep going happening to the paint. He gets a dunk right here. I don't know how Luka gets all these crazy dunks, man. I think it's because of Giant Slash. Eh, I was about to say Giant Slasher, but that's not even a badge. Giant Slayer. He has, um, what's the other badge he has? He has Giant Slayer. There's the other badge, Slithery Finisher. There you go, I can't really think right now. So he has all those finishing badges, really good. Speaking of Josh Richardson, he knocks down a three-point shot right here. Isolation with Luka Doncic, taking advantage with Tyler Hero. Because that's a mean mismatch. Getting into the paint with the burst of speed and he gets takeover. Again, we're going to try to take advantage of his defense. Little slow dribble right here like Luka does in real life ends up pulling up from midi so we're learning Luka Doncic as more as we go through the season and more games that we play we're gonna be learning Luka's tendencies and what you know <laughs> he's good at because I think this was only my third or fourth game with Luka Doncic so as the season goes on I'm definitely gonna be learning how to use him and Curry together because a lot of time when they're on the court together I really don't know if I want to use Luka or Curry <laughs> so when I'm using one of them, the other one is just losing stamina. Like I can't really use both of them at the same time. I have to learn how to manage their stamina and then have both of them at the end of the game. Because a lot of times one doesn't have any more stamina and I have to use only one. So it's really really tough. I gotta learn how to manage it more properly. So nice screen right here for Josh Richardson. Another 3 point shot falls down. So this game has been close throughout and now it's ending the third quarter pretty soon in about 3 minutes. I'm getting back into the paint. Nice floater with Stephen Curry. And we get the lead right back. We ended up getting a stop right here. Steph Curry is going to push the basketball. I get bumped. And we get the nice contact layup, but no foul. I'm going to run a nice screen here with Blake Griffin. Curry back to Blake. Pump fake. Take advantage of the speed he has. And he gets a nice up. Because Blake Griffin still has the posterizer badge, believe it or not. And he is super quick for a power forward. Now, I don't use Blake Griffin, I end up just taking it myself. So that pick and roll BG is really nice. Zion Williams in the paint, oh my goodness. So Luca with a double screen right here, getting into the paint, and he gets another dunk to go. So this fourth quarter is really tight. 
Tyler Hero has enough of Luka. He's going to try to come right back at me. He's going to do a spin move, step back, more dribbles. I thought I played great defense right there, but what can I do there? <laughs> Tyler Hero just took advantage of Luka right there. Luka comes right back with a dunk. So it's still a tight basketball game. We're just trading leads here. 66-65. Luka Doncic gets open in the corner off of the inbound play. He ends up fading away right here. I don't know what that shot was. <laughs> But Luca, man, look how fast he is. He has downhill on goal. So whenever Luca is in transition, he outruns everybody because of that badge. He gets an extra burst of speed. And speaking of speed, Zion Williamson is just out running all of my defense. Just dunking on everybody. Nothing I could do about that. A nice screen with white side. Curry goes all the way in the paint. So now it's back to a four-point game. He does a step back with Halliburton. We end up getting the steal. But we couldn't convert and he gets the ball right back. Jimmy Butler's gonna get into the paint. He gets a tough and one. This is gonna be a nice play again. I'm gonna have Curry curling off a double screen. Actually, yeah, here it is. Curry. He didn't come off the first screen, off the second. I should have shot that layup. That was a mistake of mine. Because I got pushed in the back, so I thought I was gonna get a different animation. So that's why I passed it out. I mentioned it in previous video, I don't like when you get pushed in the back, that's such a weird animation, especially when you have a wide open layup and you just get pushed and it messes up your your flow. We end up getting the charge on Zion Williams here. <laughs> Great prediction by our team, we end up getting a charge with Zion Williamson is back in the paint. We're just gonna be spamming the steal button on him because there's nothing we can do, the man has takeover and he's gonna get another charge or is that a blocking foul? I can't really see but <laughs> I can't really stop him. And Zion Williamson was fouling out everybody on my team. We had foul trouble on all my bigs. Again, Zion Williamson, we actually got a defense to stop. Pretty rare. Luka to Curry. I get bumped and he gets pushed out of bounds. That's crazy. I don't really like... <laughs> oh my goodness. I was about to say, I don't really like those animations, man. When you get bumped and then it pushes you out of bounds. But that's a good animation to be honest. Ooh, what a nice block by White. I'm telling you, such a beast. Because the defense has to be rewarded sometimes for good defense. So that bump on Curry that put him out of bounds, that was okay for me. But he gets back into the paint, pick and roll with Zion. He gets a tough layup right here. I don't know how Whiteside didn't stay on him. Curry ended up switching on him on that screen. So now it's a three-point deficit. And Curry pulls up for three. We didn't even need a timeout. Clutch three-point shot. Final possession of the game, we're gonna try to bring a trap right here, we don't want to go one on one. Great defense, 2 seconds left, Tyler Hero, ooh, Zion with the tip and it, <laughs> honestly I thought Zion said that in time. So we head into overtime, Tyrese Halliburton with a 3 point shot. One thing I didn't know is that Tyrese has I think an 87 3 point shot, so that's why I backed off of him a little bit. So two minutes in overtime, he's going to take the lead right back with that dunk. We're down by three points once again. We're going to set a nice screen with Curry and Luka. Luka's going to cut into the paint and we get the nice layup. Sometimes you just got to keep it simple, especially at the late of, late of the game. I mean late game situations. I'm mixing up my words, my bad. Because like I said, I do these commentaries in one shot, so 10 minutes straight is kind of tough. Curry off the screen, nice play right there. I really love when he gets wide open off the Hassan Whiteside screens. It's a big brick wall. He gets into the paint. We don't go for the layup. We stay on Zion because I knew that's what he wanted to do. Again, he's going to run another screen right here. I keep staying on Zion. Great defense by our squad. We tip it out, but we couldn't secure the basketball. He's going to get another chance in the corner. He ends up doing a spin move. Williams gets the nice stop. So what I did is I subbed out Hassan Whiteside for Robert Williams at the end of the game because Hassan had no more stamina guarding Zion. Luka gets into the paint, back to Curry. Beautiful pick and pop. Curry with the clutch, clutch three-point shot. My opponent is not going to call timeout. He's going to go all the way, man, just like I did to end regulation. But he goes for a two-point shot. I don't really mind. That's what I wanted him to do. Oof, dangerous pass right there. We end up getting fouled. So my opponent is deciding to play the foul game, but Steph Curry is the man you want shooting these two free throws. Clutch, clutch situation, we make the first one. 
The second one is going to be a huge one. It's a three-point game. I lagged a little bit there, as you guys can see. <laughs> so we're going to sub defense to off. I mean, offense to defense. We're going to sub in Iguodala. We're going to sub in Avery Bradley. Put our defensive team on the court to try and get the best chance to stop his offensive possession. So here it is. Crucial, crucial possession for his team. We're denying the ball. And he gets a 5 second inbound violation. He didn't even inbound the ball. He ended up fouling Steph Curry and that's about the ball game man. So crucial turnover by my opponents. But this was such a crazy game. Shout out to you. I saw Danny. Great game. So man, this was a nail biter for sure. We had great series throughout the season, but this one probably was the best matchup. Overtime thriller. Look at Jimmy Butler's face. That face says it all. So Luka with 40, Steph Curry with a 30 piece. Great win by our team in overtime against Zion Williamson, who also had, I think, 35. So our draft for season three is coming up tomorrow. Stay tuned because it's gonna be a live draft Friday, March 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Drop a like and a comment, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.